All right, so for this next challenge, what I'm gonna do is find each and every different type of plant. And I'll just cut the video showing you where I find each one. A number of them are gonna be down in New Austin, the area that was really only available once we got to the epilogue. So uh, there's no real set design to this. We're just gonna find one of each and I'll uh, just be finding them sort of randomly. I do know where at least one of each is. So I'll try and keep them sort of in some sort of order as in closest, not sort of alphabetical or any other order like that. I'll just go from spot to spot uh, as close as I can and we'll mark them off one at a time. So let's do it. All right, so here we are with, with some oleander sage. This will be number one. Come on, John, pick it up. And immediately from there, we're just gonna head, I'll just show the map again where we are just in case. So we are north of Blue Water Marsh or the north section of it. Sort of where we found Blue, um, Oleander Sage earlier in the, the video, north of this swamp area. And we're about to find, it looks like some what you might call it, yeah, bulrush right there as well. So that's number two. Okay, and now here we are, just the tiniest a little bit south of where we were before. And I believe we've got raspberry here. Oh no, evergreen huckleberry. Don't listen to me, evergreen huckleberry. The plants look very similar. All right, and here we are in almost the same area, just a tiny bit further south. And this time we've got some milkweed. All right, so here we are in the northern part of the Lagrasse Swamp and on this little bit of land that uh, works its way out into the middle. And we've got a vanilla flower on the tree here. So let's grab that. All right, and on the uh, same little bit of land, just uh, to the south, we have, what is it? The rat tail orchid, is it? Yeah, rat tail orchid, so let's grab that. Okay, and here we are on the east coast of the swamp, and we have got the queen's orchid. Now you might remember a lot of these from our exotics run. But now we have to get one of each all over again. Yay! <laughs> all right, now here we have one of the easiest ones to find, especially the easiest cigar orchid. Uh, if we just, uh, we, what are we, just a little bit further east of where we got the last one. That's where the horse is actually, I think. Anyway, so we're just on this, uh, I think it's a state line or something. Uh, where are we? On the east of the swamp area again. And we've got the Cigar Orchid. Let's grab that. Okay, and now another really easy one to spot. If you haven't already guessed it, I'm trying to find all these orchids first uh, around the swamp. Number one, I hate the swamp. Number two, I think they're the hardest ones to find. So this one though, not too hard. Akuna Star Orchid, just on this path here, uh, you can actually see it. Don't even need eagle eye or anything like that. Let's grab that. Okay guys, and here we are. We've got a Lady of the Night slipper right on the B on the word Bayou. So let's grab that. All right, and here's another orchid just west of the B in the word Bayou there. And this time we've got a spider orchid. Okay, I've headed down this way looking for some more orchids, but we've come across some hummingbird sage. So we're gonna pick that up while we're here. No harm in doing that. Where are we? We are just east of Boulder Glade and this uh, big church across the road, right on this picture of the rabbit here. Let's grab it. A lot of this stuff around this part anyway, so as good a spot as any. 
All right, and literally just a little bit further than that is some chanterelle, some sort of mushroom, I think it is. Let's grab that. And I'm pretty sure there's an orchid around here somewhere, so we'll grab that in a sec. And literally just behind me when I was uh, picking up those mushrooms we just got is the, I think it's the night scented orchid. Let's have a look. Yeah, there it is. Grab that. Okay, and now we're looking for another orchid over on this island or this part of the land here. I'll just zoom out so you can see where it is. North of Shady Bell, really. Um, and southwest of San Denis. But on this island, there's a few different things. And we're going to start with some wild mint. Grab that. Not sure if it's actually an island or not. All right, and here we are on the south of that island or bit of land uh, that we're on for the wild mint back there. And here we're going to have, I think it's a ghost orchid, I'm hoping. Yeah, there it is. We're getting there. And literally just a little bit further south, just cross this little bit of water. And on the tree to your left will be a clamshell orchid. All right, now the plan is to head to Rhodes and uh, catch a train or something over to Valentine or up to Valentine. And we're gonna do a whole heap of uh, looking for herbs and plants up there. But on the way, uh, where were we? We're on the way to Rhodes and I found some American ginseng. So we're gonna pick that up just here. Let's grab it. I'll just double check exactly where we are. So near the train line, where are we? Just north of where we just were, but um, southeast of Rhodes. And not far from the uh, ginseng we just found, here we are, still headed up towards Rhodes, just along the train line here. Still southeast of Rhodes, and we've got some Indian tobacco. Once again, not hard to find this stuff, but uh, I'm just gonna show you one of each. Okay, and literally just a tiny bit further west, still on our way to Rhodes, we've found three more different herbs right here, at least three. Um, so let me just show you exactly where we are. There's Rhodes, there's us, all right. So here we have got some yarrow. Grab that. And... Then we've got some raspberry, raspberry. I always say words funny when I'm trying to commentate. Anyway, raspberries, raspberries, I don't know. Uh, and some oregano. All right, and let's just do a quick score check because we should have passed halfway. And there we are, 22 of 43. All right, what you want to do is catch the train to Valentine, and as soon as you get off, hop off and off to your right, and you'll find some creeping thyme right here. Let's grab one of those. And literally just to the south of the creeping thyme by only a few meters, I think we've found some wild carrots. Obviously, we come across these a lot, but this is where I'm going to get them. Okay, and right where those last two were, and all through here, you'll find a lot of other um, herbs and plants and things like that, but a lot of them we've already picked up. So I've made my way down here. You might find some more if you stay closer to the train tracks, but there's some parasol mushrooms. Let's grab those. Okay, and just to the west of where it says Caliban Seat, Head across the road and look under the trees. Also close to where we found a dream catcher a long, long time ago. And here we have Babylet. Oh, wrong button. Uh, that button. All right. Once again, no idea how to say that properly, but there we go. That's where that is. Okay, and here we are. Oh, what would you call it? 
sort of in between the Dakota River where it has this big bend, but we're uh, off to the west of where it says New Hanover and southwest of Valentine. And just in here, we have got some blackberries. Let's grab them. Okay, now we've headed a bit further north from Valentine this time, up where it says Cumberland Forest, and go find the U in the word Cumberland and then head across the road from there. Here we're gonna find a couple of things that we need, a couple of things that we've already got, um, but at least two things that we need. First one is right here in between the deer's legs on that picture, and it is wintergreen berry. All right, so the wintergreen berry was down between the deer's legs. Just under its mouth here, we're gonna find ram's head, another sort of mushroom type plant. Let's grab one of those. All right, so let's uh, head a little bit further north. Uh, that's where we were. We've made a, our way around Fort Wallace and up here because I know that I could find, or I knew that I could find some violet snowdrops right here. So let's grab them. And then literally just a few meters from the violet snowdrops, uh, sort of towards the west, I'd say, we are going to find, I'll just uh, zoom out, show exactly where we are, north of Cumberland Forest and Fort Wallace, and just near the Cottera Springs, we have got Alaskan ginseng. Okay, and the next uh, plant we need to get is the dragon's mouth orchid. Uh, what you wanna do is find the train line down from Bacchus Ridge. Follow it down till you get to this intersection with the, uh, I think it's a state line or something. It uh, doesn't really look like that, but anyway, find that line and here we'll have it just next to the train lines here. All right, and here we are for another orchid. Uh, find Annisburg and the Camosa River, and it's just near the point of this little path here, this little track off the main road, so to speak. All right, and we're gonna grab Sparrow's Egg Orchid. Once again, another one that we covered in the exotics quest line. And here we are for another orchid. I think it's possibly our last orchid finally. Once again, just uh, sort of southeast of our last one, just on the Camasso River here. Um, I like to say it's opposite the last A in the word Camasso. Right there, uh, southwest of Annisburg. All right, let's get the moccasin flower orchid. There it is. Okay, and we've just moved a little bit further south from our last find. Uh, head past Elysian Pool, and we're in between the E and the R in the word Hanover here. And we've got Golden Current. I had a little bit of trouble finding this one because I don't think it respawned from last time we um, went on a run collecting all of this. But there's some just here. Okay, and just a little bit further south of that, still along the bank of the Kamasa River. I'll just zoom out so you can see exactly where we are. Still southeast of Annis, no, southwest of Annisburg, sorry. We've got Burdock Root. All right, now we are on our way, probably going towards Blackwater to get the, um, and towards New Austin where we need to get the remaining herbs or plants or flowers or whatever you want to call them. And on our way out there, we're stopping here at Monto's Rest, just to the south of that. Don't mind that. All right, so that's where we are. And we're here for the Ladies Slipper Orchid. Let's grab it. Okay, next we've made our way down to Blackwater, just to the west. And right near the big E here, or just to the north of it. Have a look here, there's a few of them around. There's Prairie Poppy, let's grab it. Uh-oh. 
There's a grizzly bear. Oh, where is it? Yeah. Ah, it's got me. Ah. You're dead, bear. You're so dead. Die, 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 die. Yes. Oh. <sighs> Pick up my hat. Oh, look at my face. Oh, you can't see it now. Hey? What, bub? I'm trying to. I keep getting in the shade. There's a big scratch on my face. Yeah. Oh man, I survived just. I need some healing stuff. Okay, now here we are a long way southwest now of Blackwater, almost at uh, Armadillo. And we've found some English mace. I think you can find it sort of uh, a lot in this uh, state in New Austin, but this is where we're gonna pick it up. Just here, right next to the train line. Let's grab it. Oh, and there is a train making things nice and noisy for us. Okay, and now here we are, literally just off the east of Armadillo, under the word Armadillo. And move that. We've found our latest new herb, Wild Fever Few or something. All right, with three to go, here we are. Where are we, really? Um, we just got attacked by some Del Lobos, but... All right, between the U and the S in the word Austin, just uh, south of Armadillo. And off to the side of the road here, we've got Red Sage. Let's pick that up. Okay, now we are directly under the W in the word new which is also under the D in the word tumbleweed in the far west of the map. And this is actually the first time I've ever come across black currant. Looks just like the gold currant plant. So, I mean, I'm assuming it's black currant because it's, I think it's the only plant I have never seen so far. And it says examine. There we go, black currant, beautiful. I'm just gonna pick the other one just for fun. And we have one to go, guys, and it is the Desert Sage, and I'll be showing you that in just a second. Alrighty, guys, here we are, just to the west of the E in the word new. Uh, this area here has a heap of um, Desert Sage, so let's grab one. Now, I accidentally grabbed this off camera, so you won't see it uh, come up on screen that uh, I've got all of them, uh, the 43 of 43. But if we go into our challenges, let's see. There we are, we're up to number 10 now. And we have to, oh, okay. So that doesn't really tell us properly there, but we have to cook and season, or season and cook, sorry, every different type of meat. There's 11 different types. And I'll show you how we do that in just a moment. Okay, now if we have a look at the log for, hang on, for Herbalist 10 or Herbalist Challenge number 10, we need to cook 11 different types of meat. Uh, I'll go through these one at a time. Most of them we already have in our inventory, except for the following. Exotic bird meat, uh, succulent fish, flaky fish, and crustacean meat. Now, the rest of them, if you've been following along, we have plenty of them. Um, obviously, pork, kill any boars and things like that. Um, big, uh, sorry, the plump bird meat comes from bigger birds. I can't think of them off the top of my head. Um, big game meat like bears and uh, even cougars, I think, give you big game meat. Prime beef, we got, I think I got most of that from killing bison. Um... Uh, now the succulent fish will get to. Game meat is just like rabbits, um, little rodent, things like that, that type of thing. Flaky fish and crustaceans will get to. Mutton is of course from the sheep and venison is from deer. So we've got that all covered. Uh, now we need exotic bird. I do know that you can get exotic bird meat from pelicans. 
Um, and that's what we're going to do. I have heard that you can get it from parakeets or something like that in the game as well, but I haven't tested that, so don't hold me to that. That's what we're going to do first, and then we're going to catch a couple of different kinds of fish to get succulent fish and flaky fish. And there's only one spot that I know for sure has crustacean meat. There's some little crabs that we have to um, that we have to kill um, and use to cook their meat. I'm pretty sure there are more places, but there's only one place that I can uh, recall that I know has them, okay? So I'll show you all that, and we're gonna start with a pelican over near Blackwater. Let's do it. And before we do head to Blackwater, I'll just show you what we do to find out exactly which ones we already have. Just um, set up camp. And then what we'll do is we'll go across to cook, or push the button for cook, and straight away we're in the uh, the meat section. Plain game and plain herp tile, whatever that is, doesn't count. It's only the ones here that give you the option to season it. Um, so you can see there we've got plain big game. Well, we don't need the word plain. We've got big game, we've got pork, we've got plump bird, prime beef, mutton, stringy meat doesn't count. We've got game, we've got venison, and that's it. So we've got seven out of the 11 that we need. And those are the ones that I've already spoken about. So we'll tear down camp. And we'll head over to Blackwater. Uh, just open up the map. It's probably going to be easier to travel up to, yeah, quicker to travel up to Tumbleweed. Oh, I don't think visiting the butcher is going to be any help, but obviously if you're missing some of the meats, travel to the butcher, um, and they'll have a couple that, that we need, but we're going to travel here and grab the stagecoach over to Blackwater. I don't believe I've actually visited Tumbleweed in the walkthrough, so let's go and have a look. See if anything's actually happening in town when we get there. You and me, fella. <laughs> All right, here's the stagecoach. All right. Oh yes, I have. I have actually been here in the in the walkthrough. That's right, they tell you to walk away if you go close to them anyway. Uh, not sure what happens after that, but we're going to take a ride. Straight to Blackwater. Let's go. Alright, so we're here in Blackwater. Oops, uh, I want to go... Around about there. Thank you. Where's my horse? There he is. Hey, buddy. Um, yeah, and hopefully we can find some pelicans. Now, might also be able to find the type of pelican that we need for our compendium. I don't think I've found them other than practice runs, so hopefully. Oh, it's raining though. Uh,. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be here in the rain. Let me go have another look. Um, yeah, I sometimes find them along these cliffs here. Or even uh, flying around, but not. I don't like my chances in this weather. Um, so, what I'm thinking is to go set up camp. What have we got there? No, no. We don't need that. I wonder if how far out of town we'll have to be to set up camp. That looks like it's gonna let me, good. All right, looks better already. So we've slept till morning. Let's just get out of here. 
Let's find out where the game has put us after I... I'm going to get my gun out. Oh, yeah, I think we're almost in the same spot where we actually chose to camp. Um, I'm not sure what it's going to be like coming from this side to find these pelicans. Um, I've always come from north of this area and found them on the cliff face. Oh, there's something flying in the distance. Problem is, if it's... Oh, here we go. American white pelican. Not the type of pelican I was hoping to find. What about this one? Ah, this is going to be it. I'm going to get this out and see if I can study it first. This is going to be the one that we wanted. All right, brown pelican. I'm going to shoot both of them, though. Starting with the brown pelican. Yeah, all right, good. Because we haven't plucked a brown pelican. No, we only need one of each will do. Make sure that we've got everything we need. Let's do the brown one first. Because this should update our compendium, I think. I think it was the brown one. I should check my um, check my notes. But we've got one of each here, so it really doesn't matter. There it is. Brown pelican. One killed, one plucked. Yeah, that's right. And it's studied, so that's what we needed. And the American white pelican. None. Zero plucked as well. Okay. Awesome. So we'll pluck that. Um, I know the other spot I found pelicans was up along the coast north of San Denis, maybe even as far as Van Horn. Um, I thought I remembered killing one, but maybe I didn't pluck it. That's possible. All right, and I forgot the main thing that we were here for. If we see after we pluck that one, flight feathers, exotic bird meat. There we go. All right, so we've got that. Now, the, the, we've got a bit of travel ahead of us now. Let's open up the map. We're going to head back into Blackwater and make our way to... I think I'll just go to Rhodes. I think it's either that or Emerald Ranch. No, we'll go to Rhodes. And what we're going to do is head up around here to fish, which is just near our... Uh, what is he called? The horse fence is usually sitting around there. I'm going to fish here to get both types of fish that we need and hopefully find a boat. As soon as we find a boat or a canoe or something along there, we're going to use it to get to this island here. And this is where we're going to find crabs if we don't find crabs along the shoreline here. All right, that's the plan. So we're going to start by heading back into Blackwater and taking the stagecoach. Let's do that. Uh, where'd my horse? I don't... Oh, I left him over by the camp, I think. All right, what I'll do is I'll cut the video here and I'll join you guys as we're leaving roads and approaching the uh, fishing destination. All right, here we are. We're getting uh, close to where we need to go fishing. Just show you on the map where we are. So we're going to head over to the shore here. I'm going to have a quick look up and down for a boat or crabs. Hopefully the, one of the crabs shows up. That would be beautiful. But as soon as we see a boat, we'll grab that and head over to the island when we can. And if we do that first, we'll do the fishing second. Yeah, yeah, I know. I said I want crabs. Real funny. Yeah. All right, come on, come on. Uh, focus, Aussie, focus. I've been recording for a long time for this uh, these herbalist challenges, guys. So don't blame me if I'm getting a bit tired, all right? But uh, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We uh, can definitely see the finish line now. All right, I'm going to jump off the horse. Uh, we'll, 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 oh, it doesn't really matter what we take. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take my normal gun. Um, if I'm lucky enough to find any of these crabs. I have found them on this side before. I'm positive I did. Um, in fact... What is that on that rock, I want to know? 
Just a songbird. Tell you what, guys, if I never have to pick another uh, herb or plant in this game again, it'll be too soon. I don't see a single boat. Man, I get the worst luck with this thing. We may need to... It's called the... It's the recording curse. It's definitely the recording curse. Um, I have found boats down this way before, or canoes or something. Oh, what's that? What kind of bird are you? Yeah, I needed to study that. Damn. Any more? No, of course not. And he's too far away for me to study him now. Alright, we'll, we'll work on that again another time. What have we got up here? Oh, what was that? A deer. I want to know what that is. Is he going away or toward away? Oh, it's a heron anyway. Oh. Yeah, don't shoot him. But he's stealing my fishing spot. Hey, how, how cool would this be if I just go and stand right next to him and start fishing? G'day, mate. And we're in a lake. So let's... Oh, we've already got the special lake lure ready to go. Let's do it. Okay. Let's see what's what. I'm going to steal your fish, buddy. Alright, I'll just, uh, I'll cut the video if we start catching the wrong type of fish, but, uh, definitely this first one. We need, we need both types of fish meat, so this will have to be one of them, surely. Alright, let's reel him in. What have you got, buddy? You got something on your line there or not? I can't tell. Hey, 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 hey. Here we go, here we go. Ooh, what do we got here? This will be succulent, surely. <laughs> and for once, we have to keep the fish. Steelhead trout. Alright. Just going to move over a little bit. Look at that big thing there. But now I think we want a smaller type fish. Alright, so what we did there is we just uh, select the fish in the... Uh, in our satchel and break it down and that's succulent. So the trout is succulent fish. All right, let's see how we go here. We don't want a bluegill. We want a pickerel or a perch or something like that. There we go. All right. Let's see what we got. I know that you can catch bluegill here, but I just checked off camera. We do not need a bluegill. That gives us gritty fish. You'll see when you see my satchel. This looks like a bluegill again. Oh, no. No, it's not. What is it? A rock bass. I don't know what that'll give us. Let's have a look. So what you want to do is go into your satchel, uh, which we have to put the fishing rod away to do. And we have done it to the other fish already. So we've got the succulent fish already. The bluegill that I caught off camera gives us the gritty fish meat. And now let's see what the rock bass gives us. And you hold A to break it down. And now we have flaky fish meat. So there it is. We've got the two that we need and one that we don't need. But that's it. Let's go. Uh, exit here. Now, a boat. Oh, there's a boat. Oh, I'm going to have to do something... Uh, John can't swim at all. I don't even know if I'll be able to get to the boat if I do this. Uh, that other guy's not fishing here anymore. I'm going to see... You know what? I'm going to just watch. Let's see where he goes. If he... Oh, no. Disregard. We've got our own boat. One's shown up down here. My first thought was to kill him, but then I wouldn't be able to swim out to the boat. My second thought was maybe he'll park it and we can steal it. But... We don't need to. The recording curse didn't get me this time. Yeah. So I found that out recently that John cannot swim at all. A couple of videos ago, I was wondering why um, 
every time I went to swim, he just lost all of his stamina. Oh, don't go, don't go too deep. Here we go. All right, and um, we'll just show you on the map. So that's where we are. We need to head down here. Get out to this island. I also, I do know it's possible to get to this island on horseback, but with John not being able to swim at all, I didn't want to risk it. Let's just get to this island and see if we can get some crabs. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Hopefully I'm remembering the right island because uh, I haven't tested this out for a while. Uh, yeah, alright, hang on. I think that's a lizard that I can see. Or it's just a rock. Definitely just a rock. Oh no, it is a lizard. Oh, there's a frog too. Let's see if that frog is anything we need. Nah, Western Toad, been there, done that. Green Iguana, we've done that before. What have we got there? Laughing Gull. Study, study, study. Ah, oh, too far away again. Ah, oh, I really need to study that. Alright. Oh yeah, we came here to find a crab though. Well, what's that? Muskrat, no thanks. Well, there's another lizard. Looked like he was going to attack me. That's what you get. Yeah, that was probably a bit harsh, but, you know. Yeah, I don't know what time of day is best for the crabs either. Ah. I'm going to get a laughing gull before the end of this video. I'm positive. Now, where are these crabs at? Here, crabby, 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 crabby. I don't see anything. Ooh, what's that? There it is. Oh, quick, quick, quick. There we go. Yeah, we got one. All right. Yep, grab that. Cuban land crab. Let me check my animal. Oh, sorry. Moved a bit funny. I uh, just want to check my animal list. I don't see any Cuban crab on it in terms of our compendium. All right. Uh, we got what we came for. Let me just see if we can find one of these laughing gulls, actually. Let's use our binoculars first. Ooh, another land crab if you need one. Told you we were in the right place. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. No, that's a red-tailed hawk. I don't need that. There was something there that I needed to study. Cedar waxwing updated. How's that even possible? Whoa, what have we got here? Crows. Bloody crows. Nobody wants some crows. Is that it? That's literally all crows? Okay. Midland water snake. Ooh. Damn it, John can't swim at all. And we, I think we need to get a midland water snake. Uh, hang on once again, I'm going to check. Yeah, we've studied one, but we've never skinned one. All right, I'm going to try this. The water might, might be shallow enough. We've got one there, and we've got... One there. Alright, let's see if that's shallow enough. Yes. It's going to be. Pick it up. Have I got it? Yes, I have. Alright. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you're kidding me. I can't do it with the snake in my hand. I reckon that's a laughing gull in front of me. Oh yeah, I can skin it right where I'm standing. Okay. Oh boy, it's going to fly away, I bet you. million bucks. Yep, there it goes. A million bucks, gone. Alright, let's see what we've got just out there. 
They're just ducks. A herring gull. No, I don't need a herring gull. That I need. Oh, is it flying away though? Bet you it's flying away. Yep. It's too far away to study. Come back! Alright. See if I can see one on the other side. Green iguana, no. Duck, yeah, I don't want ducks. Alright. Just gonna have a quick look for one of these gulls. Then all we need to do is set up camp and cook all of our meat. I think we've got them all. Probably, oh no, yeah, we've definitely got them all. That was another one. I just scared it off because I wasn't paying attention. Iguana. Up there. There it is. Let me study you. Do not fly away. All right, now let me kill you. No, 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 no. I need up here. Come on. I'm just going to kill both of them. Is that dead? I don't know if it's dead or not. All right. Looks pretty dead. All right, we'll grab these and then we'll set up camp. I don't know if you can even set up camp on this island, but we'll find out. There we go, pluck that. Because I did not have that on my compendium. I don't think I did. Oh, well, let's do this. Can I set up camp on this island? Doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, awesome. All right, so let's go straight into cook and go through the list. Okay, we need, well, how, what have we got the most of? We've got a ton of oregano, so let's use that. Oregano exotic bird. Do it. Now I'm going to eat some of these because John hasn't eaten for a while. There we go. Back. Uh, flaky fish. Oregano flaky fish. Yeah, we'll eat that too. Okay. Oh, whenever I cook big game, I want it to be a time big game. Gives us a gold dead eye core. Not that we have a ton of combat left, but we still have some to do with some of the challenges. Uh, we'll stow that. Back we go. Uh, we'll have some oregano pork, please. Uh, Stoke. All right, guys, we're just going to go through the rest of the list just like that. And I will cut the video so that you don't have to watch all 11. Okay, and now here we are at venison. This will be the last one in the list. What are we going to cook it with? Let's have some oregano venison. Okay, and hopefully once we back out, if I've done it right, uh, stow that. And leave. There we go. Herbalist 10. Well, it says 1. <laughs> Come on. Let's just tear down camp for a second. Flaky fish is done. Oops, I probably interrupted that whole process now. Flaky fish, yes, we know. Let's just go straight to it. There it is. All complete. All 11 ticks. So that's it, guys. And finally, I'm not sure how many videos I'll have to break this into. Uh, it's been a lot of work tracking everything down, but I hope it all helps you guys. That's the, 
The reason I do this is uh, I love making these guides, hopefully to help my viewers, help you guys out. It's been a pleasure, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you are enjoying it or are finding it helpful or both, please remember to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, post a comment, all that good stuff. Uh, also, if you'd like more guides like this or want to help me make more real walkthroughs, that's uh, where I practice and study the game before I record these videos, please remember to look at my Patreon page and if you're able to support me there. Until then, I will catch you all next time.